Um, I've gone through and parted off Holly's hair and kept out all of the area that I want to keep in a line. And I'm just breaking that up a little bit right now. So she already came in with this existing hanging length. And so I'm going through and just kind of breaking into that the last maybe inch or so, so that it's going to be very soft. I just got done doing a couple of classes here at Studio Wish. I did one for their stylist yesterday on short hair. And then um, the day before I was doing a class and had some different stylists from other areas come in. So I've been in Ohio for a while. It's beautiful here. So I said I wasn't going to talk, and here I am talking. Let's keep talking. Okay. So refining my line. McKenna, are there any questions? None have popped up so far. Okay. You guys, if you have questions, I've got McKenna filming for me right now here at Studio Wish. What razor are you using? Okay, this is my Angel Blades razor, and it's a cutthroat razor. So this is um, inside of my scissor line. Well, razor line, I guess. And um, yeah, so this is a cutthroat razor. And I like working with the cutthroat razor because it gives me the freedom to really adjust what I'm working with um, and how I'm using the razor. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do to her baseline. I'm going to work on her fringe right now. I'm doing the entire perimeter on her haircut. I'm just going to bring this up a little bit because I want it to feel long, but I want it to feel kind of heavy. So just working in natural fall. Whenever you want the hair to be heavier, keep it closer to zero degrees and natural fall. And I want to have a little bit of disconnection here between the top and the bottom. Someone's asking if there is a guard on your razor. Nope, there is no guard on the razor. And someone has also asked if you send your razors to Brazil. Um, yes, we will send our razors to Brazil. We send, we send things all over the world. You go to my website, which is seriousbeauty.com, and look under the Angel Blades tab, and they're right there. We do sell guards as well, but I don't prefer to use a guard. I just feel like I have more control. I'm going to do a little bit of texture on the top here. So I'm just elevating that up and softening that edge just a touch. Because I'm going to have a lot of this hair right here coming over the top. So it's kind of like a blunt, soft line. We have someone asking how much Angel Blade Razor is and if you sell blades with it. Yes, the razor is 160 US and it comes with a pack of 20 blades, which um, are the plie blades. So this comes along with your razor. So I'm not taking a ton of hair off around the edges right now. This is going to be just kind of setting me up for the rest of the cut. And Holly's like, that's so cute already. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to just kind of clip this down out of my way. Excuse me, McKenna. When you're transitioning, I'm going to turn around. Okay. So, yep. McKenna has to take a client now. So, bye. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to be right here. I'm going to work across the back. Did you get it there? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Of course, thank you. Okay, so inside the back of her haircut, I'm going to be squaring off the shape. So whenever you use a square shape on a round surface, you're going to get length on either end. So I'll get length on the top and length on the bottom. So 
here we go, just straight down the back. I'm going to work with vertical sections. Removing some of that hair, but working to the length that I have, right at that nape area. So exposing her natural curl with the razor. And this will help free up a lot of that texture. And I'm over directing slightly back right now. This is going to keep length as the hair travels forward. So what it's going to do is it's going to give us this lifted shape in the back and length as we're coming around to the front. Now I'm going to do what I said before and not talk very much. After I finish this section, I'll show you kind of the effect of working with that square pattern. So pulling everything back, I'm creating a square in the back, basically. So I'm cutting a square line and I'm bringing all of the hair back to that square. So the effect of using a square on a round surface is that I am able to keep all the length at the bottom and I keep more length at the top. So this is great when you want to create roundness in the, in the shape. And you can see if I move out of the way, kind of how that is. Awesome. Do you want to hold the camera? I can if you'd like. And then, you, then I can answer questions. Sweet. Okay, so Rowena, the owner of the salon here, this is Rowena. Hey. <laughs> we just cut her hair this morning. Woo. I'm loving it. Um, she's going to go ahead and hold. So how do I turn this back around? Oh, right there. Yep. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, this is cute already. I don't know. Can you see that, Molly? No. Holly. No, you're Holly, good. Molly. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Okay. You can see how that shape now is lifted, but we still have that structure at the bottom. So I've got the sides clipped out of the way. Now I'm going to work in through this top area. And I already cut her fringe a little bit get on there and then this other part of her fringe will work um, and will fall over the top so I'm going to be working with a pivoting section from the top and I'll be working out to length so I'll be working pivoting around the top nope I just changed my mind I'm gonna work square that's the beauty of a hairdresser you can change your that's mind. right yep and all I need to do is I make need to make sure that my length here that I'm going off of for my guide is longer than this because I really want to keep all of this length to fall over the top. So that'll work just fine. Just working across the top. I'm going to firm up my guide from the back. If I can get in there. So this has some similarities, um, Rowena, to the cut that we did yesterday. And if you have any questions, I've got somebody on there who can answer or who can ask me so I can answer. Okay, so I'm going to work back to a stationary guide. So I'm just holding this straight up. My stationary guide is right here. I'm going to break through. I'm going to leave some more points in this. Right in that area. I want a very loose, textury feel to this. I didn't realize you, this was so long. When you were saying it was long, you weren't kidding. I know. Yeah, it's like pretty long. But it curls up, so it doesn't necessarily look quite as long as it is. So we're directing that back. And 
And the way I work with the hair, I tend to get um, my shape in the hair, and then I do a lot of detailing um, and personalizing. So I like to get my basic shape in, and then go back in and create what I need. Now, Holly, are you going to get more highlights? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think it would be pretty. on sectioning haircuts and how to decide where and why you're choosing to section where you're choosing. And this is from forever.evolving. Okay, yes. I absolutely teach haircuts based on that. That is what I do. So um, I just got done teaching here in Ohio at Studio Wish, and a lot of it was on the design of haircuts. Um, and all of it has to do with face shape, skull shape, and you know the, the density patterns of the individual's hair. So, yeah. <laughs> so yes, I do. If you go on my website, sonobredo.com, I've got a lot of information on there about the classes that I teach. I've got one coming up in um, San Diego, actually, where I'm teaching a lot of that. And we're working with a lot of disconnection in shapes and how to work that. Two more questions. Another one is, are you pulling everything back to the previous section? I mean, that was when you were on the side. Yeah, I was actually pulling everything back to a stationary guide. Actually, I traveled just a little bit, but then I pulled everything back to that stationary guide, which increases my length around the front. And then the next question is, do you cut the front together with oh, the sides? Haircuts. I'm assuming you mean, do I connect these? I did not connect them. I'm leaving this piece separate until the end. I kind of want to see what happens, see if what I like. And then you've got an invitation to go to Sweden. Nice. Please have glasses in Sweden. <laughs> ah. Maybe someday. I don't have anything planned there right now, but that doesn't mean I won't. Okay, so I'm just doing making sure that everything kind of connects a little bit on these sides. Just a little bit. But by parting out the um, side area and the back, it's, it's really cute, by the way. I love it. You're liking it? Yeah. Yeah. Just the shape just hugs your head back here and then it just gets long. I love it. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> um, that's okay. How often do you change your blade? Oh, every haircut. Sometimes twice in a haircut. Or sometimes I'll change it in the middle of a haircut. You can always tell if you need to change it. It starts gripping the hair and kind of tugging a little bit too much. And then here's a good one. I know the answer to this one, but I'd love to hear you share. Do you have classes online? Yes, I do. Um, I have a membership program called Sharp Scissors Society. And Sharp Scissors Society is a um, like a community of people really wanting to explore haircuts, learn all the different techniques that I do, and get, get solid in their craft. So... Um, inside of Sharp Scissors Society, I have what I call a master class, and that's a series I'm doing right now where I take clients and I take them from, um, you know, like the design process, like what I did with Holly this morning, where we looked at her skull shape, her face shape, body structure, all of that. And I take through uh, the sectioning pattern, why I'm doing what I'm doing, the tools I'm using, like I'm using my carve and slide uh, angel blades right now. And these are great when you have someone who maybe doesn't want a razor cut because they give such a nice, soft, smooth cut, and you can work them almost like a razor. So Rowena, if you wanna come in real tight here, I'm just coming in and you can see how those push the hair as I'm cutting. They don't cut a straight line, and that's because they have a curved blade to them. So that curve actually pushes the hair and creates 
um, like curvatures in the hair. So it's great when you're working with hair that's wavy or curly and you don't want a straight line. So you can see I'm just picking that up and allowing it to move the hair. Can they find the classes on sonabredo.com? Yes, you can find the classes on sonabredo.com or on um, Serious Beauty. They both go to the same spot. So um, I also sell individual videos. So if you're just wanting one technique, let's say, and you don't want to invest in a membership, then um, you can buy one technique or like I have one on fringes that I do. I think there's 11, 11 fringes in it like $40. So you can get like side sweat fringe, a blunt fringe, what I call the West Coast fringe, which is a really fun fringe. Um, so you can get all of those at sonabredo.com. Whoops, there goes another comb. You ever do one-on-one -on -one classes? You know, I haven't done one-on-one -on -one classes. I'm not opposed to it. Um, but I've, I've thought of doing, let me know if you like this idea. That's really cute. I like this. I'm going to stop for now. One more right here. Um, I've thought of like doing something where I go into an area and you could come and shadow me in the salon, like what I'm doing right now. Um, I think that could be kind of fun. Um, yeah. Is that great? Oh. We did the haircut on a mannequin yesterday, but my God. Well, not exact. <laughs> not exact. <laughs> Okay, so we don't want that. Get this curl control. Getting lots of hearts and love here. Okay, good. I think you're going to be able to just let this air dry. I think that's a good one. I'll check those bangs when they're dry and the texture of the top. But I'm going to kind of just let it dry like it's dry like it's wanting to. I'll use a diffuser on it. Mm -hmm. You said you normally air dry and, and then finish. The yeah, yeah, at the end. Okay. We'll work that just a little bit. I should have brought my new Dyson dryer with me, but it was just too much to pack. Oh, yeah, I saw I, your little yeah, you saw it. Yes, I know so everyone nice. was like, what is that? <laughs> what is it you're using? <laughs> and I've really liked it so far. It's been really good. Okay, so I'm going to dry this. I'm just kind of getting it into shape, not really uh, overworking the hair too much. So when I dry curly hair, I like to just kind of use my hand almost like a rake and just um, hold on to the hair a little bit. Once you get it set, you don't want to like start scrunching it too much. After it's dry, I'll reassess and see if I need to do any more um, texturizing or if it's fine. Ooh, that's getting warm. There we go. Okay, are there any more questions on there? All right. Oh, great. Thank you. Well, they're four fifty and we work through all of the design process. And you can find the information in my booking link. The different cities I'll be in. Um, I think my San Diego schedule is already full, but I work in, I'm actually from Spokane, Washington, so over by Seattle, kind of, four hour drive from Seattle. Um, and I'll be opening up my, my schedule in um, the end of this month. Um, this one, she uh, probably has kind of a diamond shape, almost like an oval shaped face. So with that, we wanted fullness above and below the cheekbone area. So we're just keeping a nice, full shape. So 
anyone that has a little bit of a longer face shape, this is going to be nice on because it gives this nice um, width to the top area. Very soft. And then we have that structure around the bottom as well, which gives us another horizontal line. But you could adapt this style for almost any face shape, depending on the partings and how you design it. So, so for my stylist friends out there, this definitely could be used on almost any face shape. We have a question about poly hair. Is her hair fine, or what type of hair is She has a finer texture, but there's quite a bit of it, especially into this top area. So the individual strands are a, kind of a fine to a medium, but there's quite a few of them. And what products would you use today on her hair while you're styling it? Okay, I use, you want to zone, zone in on that? Um, I'm at Rowena's salon, so she carries Kerastas, and so that's what I'm using right now. I normally would use KMS because I'm an educator for them, but I don't have any available to me right now. But they've worked great. I love it. So we went with another line that starts with a K. There you go. How are you feeling so far, Holly? It feels really good. Does it? Good. I think it's going to be so much fun to play with. It's amazing how just a little bit of a hair makes such a big difference in different shape. Yep. And I love that you left this corner right in the front. That's, you're going to have fun playing with that. I just I love your style. So you're going to you're going to have so much like. Um, yes, I'll use a razor on dry hair periodically. I tend to find like the control that I get with wet hair and a razor, and I feel like it pulls on the hair less. But I've seen people use razors on dry hair with you know great success. Um, I'll tend to use maybe more of a feather razor instead of a straight razor on dry hair. I feel like it doesn't pull on the hair quite as much. You know, as soon as you think there's a rule that you shouldn't break, then you're breaking it. You know, you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing. And actually, I'm going to have Holly stand up because I really need to see her standing without the cape to kind of see the shape. Um, and I do this pretty, like, a lot during my haircuts because it's hard to see from the neck up. So just come back here, Holly, and let's take a look. Ooh, look at you. <laughs> see? Now it takes on a whole different feeling. Someone said it's giving a modern day Vidal shag. Ooh. It. Yeah, I love this. And when I stood her up originally, this is the line she had. And I'm like, I love that line on you. I don't want to change that. So that's why I sectioned it all out and kept the perimeter um, as it was. I just broke into it a little bit because it would have looked too bulky if I wouldn't have. So it's kind of given that vibe. Okay, turn towards me again. I don't know if anybody else can see this, but that piece is doing nothing right now. And it's part of this little spot right here. I have a, I, I have a love-hate with this little guy right here. So I'm going to actually make that something that's cute instead of something that just hangs out. So I'm going to come from the back and just make a little piece. Those fine detail adjustments that just kind of set you apart and 
your work in yeah. detail. Yeah, see, so now it's now it's like it's got a purpose. It isn't just doing nothing. Do you have it on this side? Eh, maybe a little bit. I'll, I don't want it to necessarily be balanced. I want a little bit. Adorable. Totally agree on the Vidal Sassoon piece. I'm liking those. That guy's a little too long. That's what I was seeing. Okay, Holly, get in, stand back here and just kind of touch it. Feel, see how it feels to you. Does it feel heavy anywhere? Does it feel like it needs more out? Um, no, it feels really good. Ooh, I like it tucked like that yeah, too. Yeah, it feels it feels great actually. Like there's enough out. You you've gone back to this spot a couple yeah, times. Yeah, I feel like there maybe might be right a there. little bulky there. Okay, yeah. just on that side. Just on that side. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Have a seat. So I love to get um, somebody's hands into their hair and always listen to their the tone of their voice, not just their words. Because <laughs> she said, it's good. <laughs> it's, it feels fine. <laughs> it feels good right there. <laughs> it, it's, yeah, and, and watch their hands too. Because she went back to this spot um, like almost three times, yeah. I think it was. So I'm going to just take my carbon slides and come in. I don't want to reduce length. This side just might be naturally a little bit fuller than the other side. So I'm going to come in right in that curl pattern and coax a little bit of that hair off. Go ahead and feel it again for me. Does that do it or is it still there? It's a little it's length. So it's length there. right there. So this time it is length, which just means that I probably um, layered into the other side a little bit more than this side. So thankfully we like this side so much better. <laughs> <laughs> So you can see how this is just very soft against the hair. I'm not trying to cut off all of the hair. I'm just removing a little bit. Okay, one more time, and then I'll get a little product in there so it feels the same. Yeah, it's got the same now. Yeah, it's still yeah. fun. Yeah. Okay. Is are the sides fun too? Or do they need anything to make them funner? No, I think they're. I, a little something. Okay. I don't know what. I have them disconnected right now. I so, like the disconnect. Oh, do you? Okay. Is it right here? Maybe just get a little heavier. Yeah, okay. So just a little too heavy. To the rest. Okay, perfect. Well, and that's what I did at the beginning. Remember, I sectioned yes. that off. So let's see here. Let's go in. Let's just. And then we're going to have to get in with a little bit more product too, so that it. Yeah, they were a little too one length feeling. That's what it was. Yeah. Because you're not going to just wear it straight down all the time, you know. We can always take out more hair. It's really, really hard to put all that back. Okay, let me get a little bit of water on that. Or actually, this is a curl revitalizer. I'm going to try that. because we didn't want to remove that bottom, but it was a little too structured for the rest of the hair. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's that's that, better, that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that, that did it. If you get in there because you move it around slightly different. I can usually see it better when you're doing it. I love the weight on the top. I do too. It's cool. Oh yeah, this smells so good. So you got to watch how people move their hair around. Look at how cute you just made that. I love it. It feels so good. Stop. Stop. We're done. <laughs> okay.